What's now everyone? Welcome to this video tutorial. I'm gonna teach you how to use bootstrap cards. Um, to start we're gonna go to bootstrap documentation and we're gonna search for cards. I'm gonna use the HTML template that bootstrap provides us. I'm gonna paste the code Once we do that, I'm gonna refresh just to see how it looks in our website. I'm gonna wrap this inside of a div container and add a class of container. I'm going to properly indent, save, and now I'm gonna link the placeholder image by defining the directory where my image is located. So in this case, my image is inside of images, placeholder, one.jpg, save, refresh, and this is a result. So I don't know if you can notice this, but the image is not properly resized. To solve that, we add a class called image, fluid, save, refresh, and this is the result. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to add a zoom in effect to this um, image, and I'm gonna wrap it inside of a div tag and add in a class of zoom. And if we go back to our style CSS, we are going to be able to add some rules to this class name. In this case, I want the position to be relative and the overflow, I want this to be hidden. The next step is to add an event. So when anybody hovers on the image, I want the image to have a transformation, well, to transform and scale 1.1. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing for Mozilla and WebKit. So if we refresh now, we're gonna see that the image it's uh, is zooming in, but well, it's scaling properly. But we need a smooth effect every time it goes back in place. So to solve that, we once again target the class name, zoom, then the image. And I want this to have a transition of all. Of zero point three seconds. And the same thing I'm gonna do for Mozilla web browsers and WebKit. So we just save this and refresh. Now we can see this smooth effect. The next step, I'm gonna wrap this inside of a column. Add a row. I'm going to duplicate two times the same um, the same card. 
and I'm going to change the image. Refresh. And this is the result. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to over overwrite the style of the button. And to do that, I'm going to add the same background of the second section of, of our website. I'm going to add a border color of transparent and a border radius of 30 pixels. And now to override this class, I'm going to paste what we just wrote inside of our style CSS. So the next thing I would like to add is some space on top and some space at the bottom. To do that, I'm going to add a class to the container called spacer. And spacer is going to have the padding top of 70 pixels that's going to be on top and at the bottom left and right is going to be equal zero pixels. If we save now, this is going to be the result. So that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you learn how to add the scale or zoom in effect to your images. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to leave me a comment or contact me. Uh, thank you very much for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.